Given they've got an all-NBA and all-time backcourt at full strength with the Splash Brothers and a DPOI in Draymond Green leading the squad, the rest of the association should have never let the Warriors acquire these players, who we're going to break down today. Other organizations failed to scout these six talents, and they landed with the three-time champions. Here's how they've combined to make up for the loss of two superstars in Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson, and stay tuned to see the biggest steal of them all for Bob Myers in the front office. Before continuing, only 15.7% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Stephen Curry's only 15 triples away from passing Ray Allen and breaking the NBA's all-time record for total three-pointers made. That's something many thought was an impossible feat not too long ago. Given the fact that he's leading the top 10 players in points per night in three-point percentage, and is taking 13 attempts per game from deep range, Steph's the obvious MVP frontrunner so far. Steph's 21-22 season has featured nine 30-plus point games, four 40 pieces, and a 50 piece against the Atlanta Hawks. His wizardry with, and even more so without the rock in his hands when he's working off pin downs to get open for looks, that opens up everything for the four other players on the floor with him at any given time. It goes without saying, but the chef's historically great value cannot be understated. The pieces that general manager Bob Myers has surrounded Steph with have been the key to both the Warriors' five-year run in the late 2010s and the current resumption of their dynasty. Since being hired in April of 2011, Myers has made the selections of Klay Thompson 11th overall in 2011, Harrison Barnes 7th, and Draymond Green 35th in 2012, and generally, Myers has been fundamental in building up this roster into a championship contender now two different times. The first time around included savvy draft picks, a signing of Andre Iguodala and Sean Livingston, and eventually stealing Kevin Durant from OKC. The second building of a championship roster in the post-Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson injury-plagued era has gone a lot differently. The Warriors missed the playoffs in two straight years, but the outcome of this rebuild has been the same. A roster that's capable of competing for the top seed in the Western Conference, and ultimately a championship. The second construction of a contending roster all started after the Warriors lost to the Raptors in the 2019 NBA Finals. They received the 28th selection in the upcoming draft, and with that pick, they chose Michigan State sophomore Jordan Poole, which many quote-unquote experts were saying was too early of a pick for the Warriors. Proving those doubters dead wrong, Dead Poole earned a spot in Steve Kerr's rotation, getting 22 minutes and averaging a solid 9 points per game, albeit on a dreadful 15-win Warrior squad in 2019-20. Poole increased his field goal efficiency by 10 percentage points as a sophomore, and he'd increase his scoring by just over 3 points on a nightly basis. That was in 2021, but it's been this current campaign that's seen Poole break out into a household name amidst the basketball universe. Jordan Poole's become the number one seeded Warriors' second-slash-third scoring option next to Stephen Curry and Wiggins, setting career highs in every statistical category. Based off his raw abilities when he left Michigan State, 27 times in that 2019 draft, GMs decided to pass on Poole, and no one thought he was capable of growing into an elite player. Well, no one except the Dubs' top-notch management. More on Poole coming up. The next unfair pickup we're going to talk about that's been made over the last two years was one that owner Joe Laca proclaimed as quote-unquote one of the best he's seen. In early February of 2020, Wiggins and two draft picks were traded to the Golden State Warriors in exchange for Jacob Evans, D'Angelo Russell, and Amari Spellman. Wiggins was labeled as a bust by the majority of NBA fans, ranging from hardcore followers to casuals. He wasn't expected to live up to the hype in Golden State. But since moving from Minneapolis to the Bay Area, Wiggins has embraced the opportunity to play for a championship organization. Initially, Dubs fans were concerned when Wiggins was traded to the Warriors in a deal that additionally brought in a top three protected 2021 pick that eventually turned into Jonathan Kaminga. A huge part of all that commotion was Andrew's seemingly unreasonably high contract. 2014's first overall pick is making approximately $31.6 million this year, an all-star level sum for a player who's historically fallen short of being considered an all-star level player. However, minus Klay Thompson, Andrew's been forced into the role of supplementary score and primary wing defender. Andrew hasn't been thought of as the dub's second best player. That distinction still belongs to the soon-to-be two-time DPOY and top playmaker in Draymond Green. 
but Andrew producing nicely as a top scoring threat has made his contract a much easier pill to swallow for Dubs Nation, and giving up D'Lo for Air Canada has ultimately ended up as a massive W for the front office, as Wiggins was always the better fit next to Steph than the high volume Russell was. That's not to say Russell isn't an all-star level talent, he just wasn't the best fit in Golden State. The swap of D'Lo for Wiggs looks like an especially good trade for Golden State when you look at the shooting numbers Wiggins has put up this season. 53% on twos, 41.6% on threes, 71.9% on free throws, 56.5% effective field goal percentage, and 59.1% true shooting. Against the Magic, Wiggins had undoubtedly the best three-point shooting display of his season, where he shot 8 of 10 on threes, a personal record for most triples made in a game. Coach Steve Kerr said this about the Canadian, The biggest thing I'm seeing from Andrew is that he's just catching and shooting. He's always been a pretty good three-point shooter, but maybe more a little bit off the dribble. And the thing is, he's really gotten better with us when he's open, he's just catching and shooting. There's a little bit better rhythm to it, but it's a better rhythm to the offense when the ball doesn't stop. End quote. My fellow Torontonian is having the best shooting season of his career, and he's efficiently scoring on a level we've never seen from him before. He's converted buckets when the Warriors have needed them most, and he's doing his job on a nightly basis, whether that's knocking down jumpers or guarding the perimeter. Additionally, Andrew's rangy 7-foot wingspan and 44-inch vertical jump, combined with the mentorship of an all-time smart defensive player in Draymond, has increased the impact of Wiggins on that end of the floor. A. Wiggins currently ranks third among all small forwards in defensive rating, directly behind reputable stoppers on the wing like Jay Crowder and Paul George. On both ends, Wiggins is proving he's far from a bust and an overpaid player, but he's a professional hooper who can bring it on both ends on a nightly basis at an elite rate. Gary Payton II was an undervalued free agent who scrapped his way onto the roster as the 15th man, beating out Avery Bradley for the final spot on the roster. Watching GP2 play defense is eye candy, as he's immediately established himself as one of the better backcourt defenders in all of basketball. Gary's 14.7 minutes each night don't allow him to qualify, but his 95.8 defensive rating would rank him number one among all guards by a wide margin. My Raptors had the chance to promote him to the roster in some form or fashion when he was with our G League team, but they let that chance melt away, and many other teams overlooked Gary's talent as well. But while the Raptors continue to search for bench contributions to aid their struggling unit, Peyton's been an extremely valuable backup to Steph Curry in San Francisco. Peyton seems like a great guy to have in the locker room who, between the lines, is willing to dive on the floor for loose balls, get down in a hard-nosed defensive stance, and do anything he can to lead by example for the rest of his teammates. The fact that the Warriors found such an ideal glue guy, who's one of the best dunkers in the NBA, and now one of the best perimeter stoppers in the league, like his dad was, that's a scary sight for other title contenders. Next, Juan Toscano Anderson was a two-time Mexican League champion and MVP of the LNBP in 2018. Man was tearing through the competition with his two-way energy outside of the association. JTA should have been watched over and picked up by another team who probably could have used him more than Golden State. But credit to the Warriors' reputably excellent scouting department for realizing Juan could contribute to their winning system in the NBA. Born in East Oakland, the Mexican-American Juan realized the dream of playing for the squad he grew up rooting for after signing a three-year deal with the Dubs on the exact same day the team brought in Wiggins. JTA's explosive slashing to the basket at his size has developed into a Jalen Brown, LeBron-esque caliber level as he's popping up for blistering poster jams on the regular. Most importantly, like GP2, it's Juan Toscano Anderson's hustle and ability to move laterally that keeps him on the floor. JTA's developed a habit for slipping to the basket after faking a screen off pin downs or handoffs involving Curry, who draws all the attention, and from those sequences, Juan's able to seamlessly attack open driving lanes at the mercy of slow to rotate paint protectors. Turning 29 in April, the former MVP south of the border is in the prime of his career and was another gem of a signing for Golden State. Before deciding the biggest steal of them all, let's touch on the Dubs' most recent unfair additions that are paying off this year. The Dubs signed one of the NBA's top three-point marksmen in the last half decade, Nemanja Bjelica, who makes their floor spacing even that much more impossible to defend. 
Bellies become a fan favorite, developed pristine chemistry with Steph, and given the stretch four is shot around 40% from distance in five different seasons, the Serbian is going to be a big piece for the Warriors all throughout this season and deep into the playoffs. Last but not least, there's Otto Porter Jr., a presumed as injury-prone wing by most general managers, who at his peak was an elite 3 and D player in Washington. Knock on wood, he stays healthy, because it's been amazing to see Otto revitalize his NBA career in the Bay. Good enough for third best on the Warriors behind Stephen Wiggins, Porter Jr. is knocking down 41% of his three-point shots. That's the highest percentage since Otto's fourth year in the league back in 2016-17, where he averaged around 15 points on a playoff team over 80 games. The biggest steal of them all, in my humble opinion, is Jordan Poole, and I'm gonna divert you to this video right here for the reason why. In that video, which I'll leave a link to down in the description, I went in depth on all the drastic improvements that Poole's made since being drafted back in 2019, so go check that video out right now if you haven't already. For next video shout out, who's the biggest steal of all these recent Warrior acquisitions I've talked about today? The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is OCE Lynchy, who says Scotty Barnes, in other words, finally having a young rookie drafted high and with enormous potential. It's something us Raptor fans can be extremely excited about with the future to come. A great take from OCE. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops to stay updated on the Speaks competition and the NBA. That's at DFlowHoops. Links down below. This was DFlow. Hope you all have a great one, and I'll see you next video.